Hello everyone, I am Dr. Nitin Kumar Arora and I welcome you all to the official YouTube channel of Pike Spain Solutions where your health is our priority. In this video, we are going to start a live series on manual muscle testing. So, in the consecutive videos, we will be covering all the muscles of the body and we will be testing the manual grades for each of them. So in this video, we are going to discuss what all things are included in a manual muscle testing grades, what precautions you need to take, what indications, contraindications and other things are included. Now talking about what MMT is, MMT is manual muscle testing. Manual muscle testing was very firstly introduced in 1912 by Powett and Wright. Now, taking this continuum forward, nowadays there are a number of manual muscle testing systems that are being used. So before going to those grading systems, let us first see what MMT is, what manual muscle testing is. So manual muscle testing is the testing of the strength of a particular muscle or a group of muscles which produce a particular movement and how they are tested by overcoming a resistance by the tester and by production of appropriate amount of strength by the individual who is being tested. So if an individual is being able to produce that much amount of tension in the muscle or contraction in the muscle to overcome the resistance by the examiner, he or she is deemed liable to be having a proper muscle strength. So manual muscle testing is manual means a person is testing manually with hand. So that is manual. Muscle means muscle and testing means evaluation. So evaluation of the muscle strength by the hand of the tester is known as manual muscle testing. Because why it is said so? Because nowadays we, there are very various electronic means of measuring muscle strength as well, including isokinetic dynamometers and other sort of things are there to measure them electronically and quantify the muscle grading. But still this measurement remains, you know, a wide and good amount of to subjective objective things combined can provide information by this MMT grading. Now there are various grades that have been provided by various researchers in the past and to name a few we have MRC grading that is the Medical Research Council grading. Second is the Kendall grading right Florence Kendall so they gave another grading. Third is Oxford grading and fourth is Daniels and Worthingham grading. So Daniels and Worthingham grading MRC that is Medical Research Council grading and Oxford grading are more or less similar and last but not the least that is Florence Kendall grading is a bit different. So we will be discussing what those are. So talking about MMT those three which are combined the MRC then your Daniel Worthingham and the Oxford grading they consider that manual muscle testing grades are there they are grades from 0 to 5. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 whereas Kendall grading system tells that they are grades from 0 to 10 so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 so what is the difference between the two and what all grades actually mean so yes coming to what these grades actually mean talking about grade 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 system so we have something called muscle strength. We are testing a, a, an individual came to us. We want to test the strength of that individual. Now we tested the individual and we are going to give him or her a grade that his or her muscle has this much amount of strength present. And we are grading this individual at three or four or two or maybe zero. So if zero means the minimal, and 5 means the maximum in Daniel Sir Worthingham grading. So in our future videos as well, we will be discussing the Daniel Sir Worthingham grading. So let us discuss what that exactly is. Talking about 0, 0 means no activity at all. No activity means you tell the individual to elicit a movement, but they are not able to elicit any movement at any cost. So that is grade 0. Now before going to 1 and 2, I will be directly jumping off to grade 3 because that is the standard from where you go either to 4 or 5 or you come down to 2 and 1 because that is a minimal thing that is expected from a person 
एफ दैट इज नॉट प्रेजेंट विल मूव अ बेट डाउन टू द फर्दर मिनिमल सो ग्रेड थ्री मीन्स दैट एनी इंडिविजुअल हु इज एबल टू प्रोड्यूस अ मूवमेंट अगेंस्ट द फोर्स ऑफ ग्रेविटी इज सेड टू हैव ग्रेड थ्री नाउ अगेंस्ट द फोर्स ऑफ ग्रेविटी मीन्स वॉट लेट मी टेल यू एन एग्जाम्पल इफ I am going to test a grade three muscle contraction. You have either the individual, you know, you told him, okay, bend your elbow up. So you are testing the elbow flexors. I'm not saying biceps or brachialis or brachioradialis. I'm saying elbow flexor groups because any movement in the body is being produ produced by a group of muscles. Although we try to individualize them. but we have almost more than 650 muscles so actually 650 named muscles otherwise we have a plenty of even many of them we are still unaware of and it's still evolving so when we test a particular muscle when we are testing the grading so we have two types of test either the make test or the break test so let's say if we are talking about grade 3 4 5 in which we are giving resistance to a patient so now what happens before coming to that thing i would like to elaborate on this component as well what happens is when we have a make test make test means that you tell the patient okay you have to hold the contraction and take it up so you start you tell the patient okay contract the muscle and you from the very beginning you provide a resistance to the patient okay and as the patient bends the elbow further forwards and up you are increasing the resistance to match the demands of the muscle contraction whereas in the break test you tell the patient either to take the muscle to the end range or you passively take the muscle to the end range so now this is the end range for elbow flexion now taking the elbow to the end range and now applying a resistance on it and telling the patient to maintain the elbow flexion is what we call a break test in this component we have two things to take into consideration if we talk about something like elbow flexors or hamstrings specifically biceps brachii so these muscles which are two joint muscles in case of these muscles we have to test the muscle at almost around the mid position where it is exerting the maximal force but at the same time for single joint muscle like brachialis so it is just crossing one joint so one joint muscle so for that one i would rather say take it to the end range and then test it right so that is the break test so the individual has to break the resistance applied by you and in the make test you are taking throughout the complete active contraction range of motion and at the end he is supposed to you know maintain that contraction so this was the make and break test now coming back to the grade 3 4 and 5 so grade 3 means just you the individual has to bend the elbow against the resistance of the gravity so i told the individual bend your elbow up and they will be taking their hand up and bending the elbow now in this one they were taking it against gravity and up right so they, that means they have a grade 3 strength in their muscles because they have a grade 3 now we can move further to grade 4 let us check if they have further strength or not so grade 3 is the standard we start from that particular position for grade 4 as i told you either you use make test or break test make test break test are used when you apply a resistance to the muscle that is generally done in grade 4 and 5 to demarcate it either as having um, maximal or strong resistance strength in grade 4 what grade 4 generally means grade 4 means the individual is able to complete the range of motion and able to maintain the end range of motion against strong to moderate resistance and that means that the patient actively or passively you take it up and the, at the end range they are able to maintain the you know contraction and at the same time the contraction the resistance provided by the therapist should be moderate to strong and last but not the least if the patient is able to do this one we can move on to grade 5 grade 5 means again 
the patient is able to bend the elbow or do a particular movement in the complete range of motion and maintain the end range position against maximal resistance so grade 3 4 and 5 right so grade 3 is fair 4 is good and 5 is normal normal means a strength that is supposed to be an individual of having that particular amount of strength so 3 is fair 4 is good 5 is normal now what happens is if the person is not able to move against gravity so again coming back to 3 the patient is not able to complete this range against gravity so that means he is not having a strength of 3 so what could it possibly be it would be something lesser than 3 and what is lesser than 3 it's 2 2 means poor poor muscle strength and in other terms if we i you know elaborate what poor muscle strength means it means that any individual who is able to make contract a muscle in a gravity lessened plane or gravity minimal plane is said to have a grade 2 without any resistance so in this case if i bend the elbow like this it is the gravity that's pulling it down so the resistance is there one resistance second resistance is the weight of the limb so second resistance so these two resistance the patient's flexor groups are not able to sustain so what we need to do is take the elbow up now if the elbow is at this position and now the gravity is pulling it down but at the shoulder so the arm's weight is going down but the shoulder will be stabilizing it now what we need to do is we can just bend the elbow like this and this okay so testing the elbow flexors you just need to bend it like this so gravity is acting on it but minimally so it is gravity minimal plane and that is and in this position if the patient is able to complete the range of motion that is complete elbow flexion or any movement for that matter that is what we call the patient is having a grade 2 or poor muscle MMT grade now if the patient is not able to even complete this range of motion he is able to take it up to 90 only let's say for example that means he is not able to complete the movement after this he is not able to okay he is trying to exert but not able to move it that means he is not having that much strength so we move a grade down you know we go to grade 1 and test if the grade 1 is present or not grade 1 means that it is by definition it says grade 1 is a flicker so a flicker or just a mild contraction of the muscle that is either visible or palpable you touch the muscle you palpate it that it's contracting minimally just a mild contraction or visible you see that there is a flicker present when you try to produce that movement so what you do to check the flicker is you bend the let's say for example the elbow why i'm taking taking the elbow again and again because it's, it's easy to explain on this particular joint you know although we'll be covering all the joints in next consecutive videos but to explain right now what the concept is because the concept should be clear to all of you so what we do is we bend the elbow and let's say we took it to the mid position now hold it here and tell the patient to bend it further because we know they are not able to take it against gravity but they will be trying it and the arm will not be moving but biceps, brachialis and brachioradialis will be contracting okay and you can see that visible contraction that means they are having a grade 1 manual muscle testing grade right so that is grade 1 that means trace of movement the flicker of movement that is present and even if this flicker is not present then you call it grade 0 or having no activity at all Recapitulating, we have grade 0, no activity. Grade 1 means just a flicker of contraction or trace. Grade 2 means poor or just movement in the gravity minimal plane. Grade 3 means against gravity, that is fair. Grade 4 means against moderate to strong resistance, that is good. And grade 5 is against maximal resistance, that is normal. So we mark grade 5 as normal. Now this was the grading system that has been covered. And now 
in other grading systems there are two three more concepts that have been added and that is adding a plus or minus sign along with this one two three four five so what they do is not to all of the numbers but to two and three what they do they they have added two three more component that is zero one two minus two two plus three minus three three plus then four minus four four plus and five so out of these the most important ones are two minus two plus and three plus why are these important it is not something like that you are moving just a number up you might have seen the vast scale visual analog scale it is not like that at all like in vast or visual analog scale what you see is that there are certain you know marking 0 1 2 3 4 5 so a pain decrement from 9 to 8 or 8 to 7 is more or less the same but here if you move from 5 to 4 in just one grade reduction the muscle motor units have reduced to almost 50 to 60 percent so a person who is having a grade 5 muscle contraction would be having 100 if we consider the 100 the one who is having 4 grade would be having hardly 60 percent muscle motor units present in the muscle and those who are having grade 3 still have just 25 to 30 percent and further moving to grade 2 it's just 20 or 15 percent and one is just almost nil so that way that is why we need to consider 2 minus 2 plus and 3 plus what does 3 plus mean so 3 means anything that is moving against gravity and completing the full range of motion is called to have grade 3 so what is grade 3 plus grade 3 plus means completing the range of motion against gravity and able to sustain a minimal resistance at the end of range of motion and holding that contraction so now if i'm able to move it up completely against gravity completing the full range of motion and i'm able to maintain just a bit of resistance at the end range of motion i'm able to hold it here that means i'm having a grade 3 plus now grade 2 minus and 2 plus so someone who's having grade 2 minus so what is grade 2 as we moved here this is grade 2 completing the range of motion in the gravity minimal plane without any gravitational resistance but without any friction as well so this is grade 2 as we discussed if a patient is not able to move it completely but up to this range only like let's say 110 degrees so what will you demarcate that patient as yes this is what we call 2 minus and not 1 because 1 means very less and 2 minus means bit more than one right so in this one we'll call it two minus because they are not able to complete the range of motion in the gravity minimal plane at the same time if the patient is able to complete a range this grade three motion so if the patient is not able to complete the motion against the gravitational force but they are able to partly take it up so if a patient comes to you he is partly able to bend his elbow up to 90 or 100 degrees but not able to complete the full range of motion that means he is having a grade 2 plus and not 3 right so these were the grades of MMT which we generally take into consideration when assessing a patient with manual muscle testing and their strength components in the next videos we'll be discussing what all are the precautions considerations contraindications indications and everything pertaining to manual muscle testing and what all special principles you need to follow to do this particular test. Believe me, it's very easy to conduct once you are excelled in it. But before that, you have to practice, practice and practice. So for more videos like this, stay connected, stay safe. Thanks.